So this is part two of how to use Deagle for your researching and note-taking in this course. And so we've seen that we have uh, read our text and we have highlighted. You don't, you don't have to use blue and yellow. You can use only pink or only yellow, whatever. These are just my own color coding um, strategies. And I've got my sticky notes. And in this, on the sticky note, what I've done is that I've paraphrased what I consider to be a key sentence or a key idea in the text. So now I want to go over to my uh, Deagle library and I want to see what that looks like in my library. So let me show you here. This is um, my Deagle library. Here I'm in my library. Here I'm in uh, networks. Over here I would be in my groups and uh, it's a little bit slow on the take network and my groups and that's where you would see the Wix cycle group but I'm not asking you to bookmark to the Wix cycle right now I'm asking you to start building your own uh, library so let's go back to my library which would be yours and once you have highlighted and done your sticky notes this is what it's going to look like so if I come to the library here let me show you under this one, dynamic contents here. So this is the URL that uh, this uh, source comes from. These are the tags, psychology and text. This is actually a textbook, psychology textbook that I've got on that uh, wiki page of good resources for you. And you can see here that it is um, bookmarked to the Wix cycle group. And how do you, another way you can see that quickly is if you go to the wiki and you look on the sidebar, all of the things like, see this is the thing I just I, um, bookmarked. So when I put, or anybody else in a group puts uh, bookmarks to our group, it's always going to show up here on the sidebar. So you'll be able to find some cool stuff just by looking over here. But let's go back to your library and here you see that um, this is what we've just bookmarked and so if I click that I'll go back to that web page and I can edit uh, if I want to if I forgot to make it private I can make it private here or I can change my description or change my tags or add tags or decide that I want to share it to a group after all or share it to a list but I'm not going to do any of those I'm going to keep it like that and here you see six annotations and so if I click on that this is all the stuff that I underlined, right? But um, what I want to see is what happens, where are my uh, resumes or my summaries and my sticky notes? And if you look right over here, this is the phrase that I highlighted, divestiture of different aspects of psychology to biology. So that part is from the text itself. But this part here, that's the text that the, um, you can see it's, it's a little more bold, a little bit darker. It says, too much of psychology has been given away to biology. That's what I wrote as a, as a, uh, as a summary to that paragraph over here that I highlighted with this line. And so here I can, if I want, I can remove that sticky note or I can continue adding uh, to that sticky note that I wrote. And let me just try that. And so here's the sticky note right here. The original one, too much of psychology has been given away. And here's what I just added to it down here, test. So you see, as a teacher, I could come into your sticky notes here and I could add comments and uh, reflections on your sticky note or you could come back in and add to your own. So this is how you're going to start taking your notes and highlighting uh, your important uh, material that you find to help you understand the, um, the topic that it is that you want to either research or uh, do an experiment on because whether you do an experiment or whether you do a classic research uh, paper, you still have to do a um, fair bit of reading and understand what the what the big questions are in your uh, in your proposed uh, topic in your field. And so that's what I'd like you to have done for next week.